Hey guys, Eileen here. Um, just wanted to share a couple little things I picked up. Got more of that because um, basically every time you print, you know, um, digi stamps, it takes up like a lot of the space and you have to use a whole sheet to run through your printer. So then, you know, I have a lot of like um, cut up ones, but I needed more whole sheets. Um, this is from Joanne. And... Um, the other thing I got was these stamps. They're by Little Darlings, and I wanted them because they actually fit my punch, which I wasn't sure about, but I figured I could find a punch that fit them, and it turns out the punch that I have that makes circles fits them. So these would be so perfect for cards. You just punch it out, stamp, and add to your card. Because um, usually I need to just make birthday cards. I don't really need too many of the other kinds of cards, so um, this is perfect. And they came unmounted, so I mounted them and cut them out already. So that's the size, and I um, just wanted to show you before I add them to my um, stamp binder. So I'm very, very pleased with these because, um, like I said, they already fit the bunch I have, so um, that makes it easy on me, and I don't have to purchase any more bunches. All right, so that's it, and then now I'm going to share some recent layouts and cards, so if you're not into project chairs, you can just stop watching now. Um, here's a Bow Bunny card I made. These are Bow Bunny wood flourishes and Bow Bunny um, pearlescents that I added on top of the flourishes, and some Bow Bunny glitter paste I added to a Bow Bunny flower, and then over here I used um, molding paste with a bow bunny template um, like it's like a script um, and then I added some string in the little uh, banners that are chipboard it's just a plain little card and it's great for any occasion it just says enjoy the little things so it could be birthday or um, you know pretty much anything a cute little um, birthday card for kids again just you know, an example of how to use their templates. Um, I just took the paper, added the template, missed it, and then traced it with um, my Sharpie and then added little borders and then added googly eyes to the little monster. Um, and the sentiment is from their surprise collection. So that's perfect for like a kid birthday and super quick and easy. This is a card I made with a recent purchase from P. Pinky Dolls. It was a D digi stamp and I colored her with my um, with my um, colored pencils from Prismacolor. I added some um, pins here and then buttons and then a whole bunch of uh, stuff that says happy birthday. It's a Studio Calico. This is my Magnolia die. Jerry Lynn die. Doily die right there and right there. Um, oh, and right there, Cherry Lynn Doily um, border. And like I said, I colored her with my pencils, and she's super cute. And I also use my blending tools that I have for the pencils, too. Here's the inside. I added a little bit of layers. Oh, and this is my Mind's Eye um, Lost and Found 2 paper from the Lost and Found 2 collection, 6x6. Six six. Okay, now on to the layouts. This is Bow Bunny, and I used the pearlescence over here, and then their wooden flourishes and wooden clock handles, and some of their glitter paste in gold, and a little bit of misting and jewels here. And um, that's my mom with the baby bunny. It's called Step and Smell the Roses. So pretty simple layout, and I like how the flourish follows, you know, the image in the paper. So it's just kind of flowing and um, pretty and very delicate and vintage, kind of. This is from the Madeline collection. Um, also, again, using Bow Bunny, of course. <laughs> um, I just love all their papers, so makes it easy to design for them, you know, it's never a struggle. Um, 
this is from the pop quiz collection mostly and then this background page is actually from their brand new collection what is it called I forget what it's called um, I can't remember now but it's the one that's like game and car themed so the background page is from a brand new collection and then this is a slightly older pop quiz collection um, some banners a chipboard airplane that's dimensional with a little glitter and um, just cut out the paper and some more of their pearlescence and that's one of their chipboard or um, actually wooden embellies and I put it on the five because Dexter's five in this picture and um, just added that it actually does go there was something else in there before and then I cut it here so I could add it to the pocket um, so I could put the date on so that's his first day of kindergarten believe it or not um, I'm still having a hard time believing he's already in school going on the yellow school bus and um, yeah so time flies um, I've recently found a video I made a long long time ago where he's like two and he's sitting in my lap and we're opening uh, my favorite things um, package that I had ordered and <laughs> he's like so cute in that video and so little and now he's already in school so and finally another one with um, using Bow Bunny this wasn't for any assignment or anything but just because I made another project recently using the Avenues collection so I had the Avenues paper out and I was like you know falling in love with it all over again so to speak and then I found all these great images of October 8th for some reason <laughs> there's just like the collection was like full of October 8th tag and then there was October 8th on this like um metal charm and October here like a paper with it so I was like oh I should find um a photo from October 8th and I went in and I did um this is October 8th 2011 so that was perfect to scrapbook this page with um these are october afternoon buttons and these are some like other types of buttons but everything else is um bow bunny this doily is also bow bunny and um this stamp is from smash the smash book collection and i used up a bunch of um well not a bunch but a few eyelets here and here and here and some lace here and um, this paper actually came with this like great grid but it cut off too low so I used a colored pencil to add this line here just to make it fit in better and then I added white acrylic paint to the metal charms because they were very um, dark otherwise and I wanted to, them to blend in better and then added some pencil around the border and just popped a few of the things up just for more dimension like the heart oh and then added stitching to this paper right here to emphasize to emphasize that line right there um, and just added some string to the buttons as well so this is a super fun page to make and popped up the this is a die cut from the collection and then I cut out the clocks from one of the pages um, and this page already came with this darker line right here so and the bird and cage picking out from it so um, and this already came with the paper so kind of did half the work for me so um, that's about it I think that's all I have to share today and then in let's see early next month I'm gonna share the other avenues project I made which is a shadow box actually so make sure you stop by for that and i also made a few more purchases He's, or joanne was having some good sales online so i ordered a few more things so i'll share that when it comes in and my bow bunny design team box should be here soon and i'll definitely share that as well with you guys so thank you so much for watching and i will Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.